While answering comments about various tech-related issues on my videos, I've noticed a bit of a common theme. People don't seem to be sure about what hardware their PCs contain. So, let's take a look. Those of you who built your own PC might find this a bit odd. If you did that, you probably know every little bit of your computer by heart. But that's not everybody's thing. This becomes an issue especially when it comes to pre-built computers, because they often use obscure parts or proprietary components. Normally, this wouldn't really be a problem, but when you want to upgrade your system, knowing what parts are in there is absolutely crucial so that you can make sure that everything is compatible. It could be very useful when checking software compatibility stuff as well, like system requirements for games. So, how do you do it? Well, there's a few ways to go about it. First up, we have the hands-on, pull all the wires out, open up the case and look at what's inside approach. But that is by far not the best way to do things. First up, unless you really know what you're doing, just looking at PCBs won't tell you much, other than maybe the brand of the parts, and some components like the CPU you can't even see because they're hidden beneath coolers. Plus, there's far more practical ways to do it. Therefore, let's take a look at the many software utilities that can help you out here. There's countless programs that try to do what we want, but a lot of them come with extra bloatware. So here's my personal favorite. If you don't want to install anything, Windows can help you out quite a bit. Opening up Task Manager and going to the Performance tab will tell you exactly what CPU you have, along with how many cores and threads it has. Besides that, it will tell you what amount of RAM you have and what hard drive you are using. You could also find out what motherboard you have by going to the System Information app that comes included in Windows. But that's a bit wonky, it doesn't really like proprietary parts. But these built-in features, though useful, are sometimes unreliable. For example, on an older PC I have, Task Manager claims that the motherboard has 4 DIMM slots for RAM modules, but opening up the case clearly shows that it, in fact, only has 2. So I would recommend going ahead and downloading a third-party app like CPU-Z, a super lightweight piece of software clocking in at only a few megabytes. It doesn't slow down your system and it is widely used because of how reliable and information packed it is. Don't be fooled by the name, it doesn't only tell you things about your CPU. You can in fact find out almost everything you'd possibly need to know about your system. Whether it be specs about your RAM, motherboard, CPU, GPU or anything else, it's got you covered. And it even has a handy little built-in CPU benchmark for when you need it. So now you're good to go, right? Well, not quite. Because there's one last tip I have to give you. Sometimes CPU-Z, or any other software that you choose to use, won't actually give you the name of a component, instead it will spit out a random part number. When that's the case, all you usually have to do is copy that and paste it into Google, and it will come up with the correct component that is represented by that part number. And that's about it. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more you can click on the right to watch my latest video or on the left to watch a random video or just click the round channel icon in the middle to subscribe. And as always this has been Vlad from Good Sauce Tech and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.